Hello students, I am your teacher Mr. Sachin Surayanshi, class 4 social studies. I welcome you all to Santokaram National Model School. These are the online sessions, online videos prepared for the students, those who are watching. So they can see and they can learn from our YouTube channel. So let's start. We are learning here about the peninsular rivers in that we have already seen the Narmada river and Tapi river, the two main best flowing rivers. The videos of these two rivers, it is already posted on the YouTube. Now we are going to learn in today's session the best, the very, very important river of the peninsular India. It is the Godavari river. It is the very, it is very biggest river that on the peninsular part of our India. The first one is the Godavari. Uh, it is an Himalayan river. It is a perennial river. Rest of the things, rest of the rivers, that is the Indus river and its tributaries, Brahmaputra, you all know these things. So, while learning the peninsular India or while learning the non-perennial rivers or peninsular rivers, this Godavari river is very, very important. So, let's see, let's move ahead. These are some of the images you can see here on the screen here. These are some of the images of river Godavari. It is the biggest river on the peninsular India. So, let's see. The Godavari river is the largest peninsular river. Actually, it has its origin in the Nashik district of Maharashtra. You are having one Nashik district here towards the west Maharashtra or towards the northwest side of Maharashtra. You are having the Nashik district. And in that Nashik district, in the western Ghats, you are having the origin of this Godavari river. The length, the total length of the Godavari river is near about 1,500 kilometers. It travels or it has its direction towards the west, east side. It meets the Bay of Bengal after traveling for near about 1,500 kilometers. It drains in the Bay of Bengal. It moves towards the east side. It crosses the whole peninsular part. It moves towards the east side because the slope of the peninsular India is towards the west side or towards the Bay of Bengal. Likewise, following the slope, the most of the rivers, they flow towards the east side and they meet Bay of Bengal. So this Godavari river flows for near about 1,500 kilometers and it goes and meets Bay of Bengal by making a delta. Almost, the it is uh, also known as, this river is also known as Dakshin Ganga because it is the biggest river after the Ganga river. This Godavari river is the second largest river after the Ganga river and it is also known as Dakshin Ganga as it is located on the southern India or it is located in the southern India. Right. So, the basin of Godavari river is located or is shared by Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, uh, Karnataka, few parts of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. So all these states are coming under the basin of Godavari River. There are so many new, uh, tributaries of Godavari River which come and meet the tributary uh, main Ganga River from many states. Almost each state contributes one small river that will come and meet the Godavari River. Some of the main very important tributaries you can see here on the screen. These are the Purna, Varda, Pranita, Mandra, Vainaka, Penaka. All these are some of the uh, important tributaries of Godavari River. You should remember this very important point. Which river is called as Dakshin Ganga? It is the Godavari River, which is called as Dakshin Ganga because only about means because only the size of the river compels it to make it the name or give it the name Dakshin Ganga. Ganga is the biggest river and in peninsular India, Godavari river is the biggest river. So it is also referred as Ganga, that is Dakshin Ganga. So let's see one map here of Dakshin Ganga or the Godavari river. You can see here clearly the tributaries of Godavari river. This is the main Godavari river. It is getting originated from this Nashik the uh, Western Ghat area and from there it flows for a while and these are some of the very important tributaries just now we have seen that is this Pravara, Purna, all these tributaries they come and meet the Godavari river at several places and finally uh, we get a very big mighty Godavari river. Finally it flows for 1500 kilometers and it meets the Bay of Bengal but before going in the Bay of Bengal at the mouth of the river 
it also forms a big delta this curve in the border of our india is due to the godavari river only it is a delta portion it is a delta region at the mouth of the godavari river.